Minecraft 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 What's up? Welcome to Adventure Gaming HQ and welcome back to another Minecraft PE video. Today I'm gonna show you two of the brand new enchantments in MCPE 1.1. As you may know, in my MCPE 1.1 review video, I forgot to uh, review one of the enchantments. Actually, I, I forgot to review both of them, but I showed one of them. That was Frostwalker, but I did not show Mending. So today, I'm going to show you both of those enchantments and how they work. So without any further ado, let's go. So in here, we have the two enchantments. Here up here, we have Mending, and down here, we have Frostwalker. So first things first, we're going to check out Mending. Now, there is only one Mending I could find, which is Mending 1. I could not find any other Mending for some reason. Perhaps there is no other one. I think there is only um, only uh, mending one, but if there is other mendings, then I just couldn't find it. So you may also notice that we have a bunch of really, 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 really bad uh, weapons and tools. Well, that's all just part of the, the uh, part of the thing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to enchant these really, really, really bad uh, weapons right in here. Now we have all of the uh, weapons enchanted. So how does it work? Well, basically what happens is every time you get experience when you're holding one of these weapons, Weapons, you will get them restored or at least you, you'll, you'll get the health restored on them So let's say I pick up some en uh, enchantment I get from this uh, sheep when I kill it as you'll see Oh, give me some enchantment orbs pig. I want your enchantment orbs. I don't, I don't think I can Oh, there we go We just got enchantment and as you may have seen it went up just the slightest bit But don't worry. I have a better way for me to show you so I have these uh diamonds over here. I'm going to get a bunch of experience from them. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold... Oh, come on. Stop giving me them. I'm going to hold out my sword and watch the sword uh, health. Watch, watch, watch. It goes up. Gotta stand far, far away. Stop giving me them. Stop it. It's time to stop. Now we're going to try and restore this dying hoe. Uh, we're just going to go through. And as you can see, the health level goes up very slowly. Now, obviously, the, the tougher the uh, thing you get or the, the tougher the tool you get, the longer it'll take for it to re regen. But let's see if we can fully make this thing uh, go all the way back up. Oh, oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. This orb does not want to be picked up for some reason. <laughs> This, this, this axe didn't get any loving. Let's try and give that axe some loving. There we go. There's just this orb floating around me. It's like an annoying fly. Okay, whatever. We're gonna have to live with it. Okay, we're gonna put this all back in. And next up, I'm gonna show you the Frostwalker. <laughs> so this comes with Frostwalker 1 and Frostwalker 2. So uh, we have two different to show you. So first of all, let's go ahead and check out Frostbutt Walker number one. What happens is when you're walking towards a water source, it will actually turn it into ice. This is my number one favorite enchantment of all time. And yes, it will stay with you as you run. As you can see, I'm running the, the fastest I can on here, and it's actually able to, uh, to keep up with me. Nope. Oh, no, it didn't. I spoke too soon. And also, as you can see behind you, it slowly cracks and breaks away. I gotta move. Now, that's, that's the problem with this one you can uh, multiple times you can fall out of it that's because this isn't uh, frost walker number two foreshadowing frost walker two never allows you to fall into the water also i think it gives it a bit uh, bigger radius so now let's go ahead and put on the frost walker number two and also it doesn't matter how fast you move on this one for sure i know that for sure because i've been playing around with this one for a very long time you just cannot fall in it is the greatest now beware if you're like on fire or something Oh no, beware, if you're on fire or something and you need to jump into the water, you're gonna end up roasted and no and no one even distract you. <laughs> also, I do think if there's like red, something about redstone, redstone with water, you can actually destroy stuff like that. I'm not too sure when you, when you, when you need that, but be careful when you're near water sources. All right, so now I'm starving in Minecraft, so we're gonna end it off just like that. If you found this tutorial useful, please like the video. If you didn't, tell me why you didn't think it was a good uh, explanation. I want to improve on my content and well that's all for now thank you so much for watching feel free to rate comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos <laughs>